What's up guys, Justin here with DCGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to use Archipack in order to start creating architectural models inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this video, I wanted to talk through how to use some of the tools built into the Archipack add-on. So if there's enough interest, I will go back through and maybe do another video doing more of like a start to finish like house model or something like that. Um, there's been a lot of interest in architectural modeling inside of Blender. So I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about this add-on. So to start off, the Archipack add-on, um, you can find more information about it at blender archipack Org. And so Archipack is basically a tool set designed to help you create architectural models inside of Blender. And so what this does is this allows you to create different things like walls and floors and roofs and other things like that really quickly. It's basically designed to be an easy to use architectural tool pack for Blender. And so you can find information about this here. There's two different versions of Archipack. So there's actually a version built in to Blender 2.8 and above, which adds some of that functionality into your um, modeling tool set. And then there's also a paid version that has more tools. So things like manipulating walls while you're drawing or wall auto snap, other things like that, saving things to your library, those can be had with the paid version. So um, I currently do have the paid version, but I'm going to talk through some of the wall creation stuff um, for the free version as well. So let's go ahead and talk about how to add this in to Blender. So to start off, in order to do this, if you have version 2.8 or above, you can just go into Edit, Preferences, and I'm going to do a search real quick for Archipack. And so you can see how, for mine, I have two options in here, right? I have Archipack Pro, which is the version that I've downloaded and installed. And then I also have this version right here, the AdMesh Archipack. So the AdMesh Archipack that doesn't say Pro, that's gonna be the free one built into Blender. And for now, why don't I turn Pro off and I'll turn the regular one on um, so that we can kind of see what's contained inside of that. And then in the future, we can talk a little bit more about the pro functions. But so built in, what this tool has, and this is the free built in version, is it adds the ability inside of your add mesh menu in order to add some different things. So you can add things like walls, windows, doors, um, other things like that into your models really quickly. And so let's say, for example, we wanted to add a wall. We would do a shift A, go to mesh, Archipack and click on wall. What that's going to do is that's going to add a wall into your model. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my units to feet for right now. And so notice what that does is that creates a wall segment in here with different things that you can adjust. So for example, you can adjust the height, the width, and the length. And so right now, this is just a single wall piece, right? And uh, all of these are editable. So for example, I can come in here and I can type in a value of 15 feet and hit the enter key and this is going to live update inside of your model. So in addition, I can adjust things like the height by clicking on them and then typing in a value. So notice how I can adjust the thickness, other things like that. And so for right now, what we have in here is we have our wall. However, there's only one piece of our wall in here. Well, what we can do is we can click on this little arrow right here, and that's gonna add another wall segment into our model. So let's say we wanted this to be 20 feet long. We can type in a value of 20. Well, notice how now we have two wall segments in here, as well as an angle on the corner that you can adjust as well. So notice how I can either click and drag this, or I can type on the value. And depending on the level of precision you want, most of the time you're gonna end up typing in a value, but all of these have different points that you can click and drag and edit. Notice how this also pops up a little uh, menu down below that gives you information about different uh, modifiers. So for example, if I do a Shift Z, it says I can constrain this to the XY plane. What that means is that means that this is gonna keep this on the XY plane, it's not gonna do anything with the Z plane. And again, notice how this is all adjusting dynamically inside of my model. And so let's say I wanted to close this in, I could add in another wall segment here, and then one more. And so another cool thing about this is notice when you close in this wall, it's automatically closing it off on the corner right here. So it's making it into a singular wall piece. Notice how these are all still editable. So if I wanted to adjust the height of all of them, I can adjust this right here. And the cool thing about this is I can click off of this and then click back on it 
and still adjust it. So I haven't lost the ability to edit this um, when I do this. And so in addition, you can also add doors and windows by doing a Shift A and under Archipack, selecting the option for door or window. Notice how though, when you first open this up, you might notice that there's nothing actually contained in here. So you can't pick anything to add to your model. So what you need to do in order to fix that is you need to allow this to render out your preview thumbnails. So the way that you do that is you go up to edit, and I'm gonna right click to get out of this. You're gonna to go to edit, preferences, and then under Archipack, um, there's gonna be an option right here for render presets thumbs. And so I think you only have to do this once, but what this is gonna do is this is gonna go through and it's gonna render out preset thumbnails for all of your windows. So if you click on this, and it's gonna ask if this is okay, and you can go ahead and click on this. What this is gonna do is it's gonna pop up a little window and it's gonna go through and it's gonna tell you that it's generating render thumbnails of your different objects that you can add in. So it's adding thumbnails for your doors, your fences, your windows, other things like that, because they're not built in to Archipack, which when you think about it is actually pretty smart. It means that you're not shipping with a whole bunch of different preview thumbnails inside of your program, which is another way that Blender keeps its size so small is this will just generate these after the fact. So you don't have a gigantic download like most other programs with a bunch of in images and other things like that. But now, if you add windows, then uh, you're gonna see windows show up inside of your preview window. And so once you've run this, then if you come in here and do a Shift A and add, let's say like a window or something like that, notice how now you're gonna have images in here for the windows that you can add. So you can add a window or a door just by coming in here and clicking on one of these options. So these are all kind of built in to the base version. So I can click in here in order to add a window, then notice how I can use this in order to move this around. Or notice how when I put this window in this wall, it's currently not cutting an opening in the wall. However, um, you can set this up to actually have an opening cut by any of your doors and windows by selecting your wall and then go into the Create menu, and with Archipack selected and your wall selected, you can click on the button for Boolean right here, so Automatic Boolean. What that's gonna do is this is then gonna set this up so that you can automatically cut holes for your doors and windows inside of your walls. So let's say, for example, that I was to do a Shift A again, and within Archipack, let's say I was to add a door right here. We'll go ahead and we'll just select this regular 80 by 200 door for right now. And uh, we'll go ahead and move it over. And then I'm just gonna come back and click on my wall again, and just click on the Boolean button again. And so what that's gonna do is that's going to cut an opening. Um, you can see how there's kind of this frame right here or this kind of extended little box that this is using in order to do this. So this is now um, creating a hole in my wall with the Boolean function. And so as we kind of saw, there's a number of different other things we can add like windows and doors and other things like that. So we can also add stairs and we'll go ahead and just set a stair in here. Notice how this is going to generate a stair. Well then, you can come into the Archipack selection or the Archipack tab right here and you can adjust different things like the width, the height, other things like this, the thickness of your stair. So you can use this to dynamically create a stair. Notice, by the way, if you ever click off of one of these and you don't really see any of the uh, options for manipulating them anymore, if you tap the N key and then go into Archipack with the object selected, you can click on Manipulate and that'll bring all of these back. So notice how I can use this to automatically adjust and automatically add different things like steps and other things like that inside of your model. So there's also options in here for different kinds of railings. So let's say you don't want the glass panels, you could turn those off. You could set the sub rails on instead. Then you can use this to adjust the size of those sub rails dynamically as well. So these are all dynamic and able to be adjusted um, really to kind of look the way that you want it to look. So in addition, we can also add things like fences. So you can add different glass panels or a wood fence, for example, which just having this built in, by the way, um, and just being able to generate things like fences really easily or really quickly is a great tool to have inside a blender. Again, notice how this is dynamic. If I have the Archipack tab adjusted in here, I can adjust different things like your width, your spacing, other things like that.
So I can adjust my fences and this is gonna automatically adjust things like your different pickets and other things like that. Notice how there are a ton of different things that you can adjust in here. So each one of these is adjustable um, on its own. So you can use this in order to quickly create fences inside of your models. So you can also add different trusses. Note that these trusses right here are more steel trusses. So kind of like the kind of steel truss that you might have if you were creating like a radio tower or something like that. But you can adjust the truss um, by adjusting the height. You can also come in here and adjust the number of segments. that are in here and notice how the more of these that I add, the more complex this is going to get. The cool thing about this is there's also, also multiple different kinds of trusses built in. So you can select different trusses and you can see how this is going to adjust dynamically based on what you select. So in addition, there's also a number of built in roof types. So if I do a shift A, add a roof, notice how there's a bunch of different kinds of roofs like metal roofs or Roman roofs or other things like that that you can add in here. And these are going to have different details built in. And you can adjust all of those dynamically. So you can adjust the overall height as well as things like the individual slopes of each side. So you can adjust how much this slopes as well as how wide and how long these wings are in here. So there's some other things you can do in here with like draft mode and other things as well. But for right now, just know that the roofing gives you the ability to create a lot of different kinds of roofs inside a blender really quickly. You can also create different kinds of floors. So you can use you can use this to create floors like tiles or boards or other things like that as well. So if we were to look at this really closely, notice how what this has is this has a number of actually pre-generated boards in your floor. So this actually models out your floor as different parts and pieces in here. And so there's a ton of different options that you can adjust having to do with the floor. So like the kind of material or the spacing or other things, you can see how you can dynamically adjust this however you want to in order to get the look that you're going for. So that's a very high level overview of the different tools contained inside of the free version of Archipack. If you are interested in me getting more in depth, we can talk about the pro version. We can talk about how to create different plans and different kinds of buildings inside of Blender. Um, just leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.